Okay, guys, you guys wanted it. I'm bringing it to you. K&M RS Spider blacked out Hindle exhaust, all that kind of good stuff. It's all blacked out, custom, all that kind of stuff. So I'm bringing you a vlog on the beast itself. Okay. Ready guys? Here we go. Alrighty. Oh, this is so much different. I just got back from riding my bike, so <laughs> this will be a little bit different for me right now. Uh, I gotta get used to the other shifting pattern now because I'm used to GP shift. So now I have to get used to standard shift pattern. But anyway, so I will let this warm up and I will come back whenever it's warmed up, guys. So here we go. We're about to have some fun. All right, guys, here we go. We got her all warmed up. Now we gotta get it done. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna do, I'm not gonna go too far because I'm not used to riding this. So I don't want to take it out on like really public streets or anything, but oh god, this thing's weird to drive. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna take it up here. And I'm just gonna probably just do like a little review on it really fast. Uh, first of all, answering some subscriber questions on the way. Yes, this is a motorcycle. You can drive this with a motorcycle license. Uh, you have to have the motorcycle license in order to drive it. And they can cost anywhere from about, oh, I'd say 12 to 20,000 for a good one. Uh, 20,000 is for like a brand new one. And 12 is for, you know, probably the, the earliest model, pretty decent, you know, stuff like that. So, um, so that's just like a subscriber question that I had a uh, guy asked me. Now, this one is a 2008 Can-Am Spider RS, which is the racing version. It's not the RSS, which is the special edition, but it's the RS. And I'll tell you what. This thing has got some get up and go. For sure. <laughs> this thing is just a rocket. I'll tell you that much. Um, the one weird thing about it is you have to lean in order to get it to turn. You can't just turn it like this. You have to actually you have to like lean into it. But you can't lean like a sport bike where you lean side to side. You have to lean like into the turn. And it's really, it's really interesting. Look at that freaking Prius. I just had a Prius try to race me. A Prius. <laughs> uh, yeah, a Prius just tried to race me. A Prius. I, I can't get over that now. A Prius. Like... Hold on, I have perfect words. I have the perfect words for that. A Prius. <sighs> that's, that's my words. Like, you have no idea. What the heck? Boy, he's got a damaged window, or not window, mirror. So, no wonder he's a retard. Um... But as I was saying, you gotta lean into the turn and stuff. So we're over here now. Uh, I had to cut something out because it's not very YouTube friendly, which has to do with a guy in a Prius, a Prius. That was quite vulgar. <laughs> um, anyway, 
So like I said, you have to like lean into the turns like forward and to the side. Like you have to do kind of this, not like this, but you have to do kind of like this kind of thing. And uh, I don't know, dude, this thing has, I think it's a 990 engine or somewhere close to that. This thing has got some power, like watch this. I just spun the rear wheel. <laughs> I spun the rear wheel at 30 miles per hour. Um, but yeah, this thing's got some awesome power to it. It's once you get used to how it rides, it's very easy to ride. Um, it's very fun to ride. It's a very fun bike. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about it is whenever you get into the really slow, windy, twisty roads about like 30 miles per hour, it's kind of, it's really tiring to drive. Like it'll make your arms tired when you get to the really, really twist, like twisty roads. Uh, but I mean, if you're uh, doing it from a cruiser standpoint, like if you're just cruising around, it is so comfortable. Uh, you don't have to uh, hold it up at stop lights. You can just sit on it like a chair. Um, so there's no, like, you don't get tired from holding it up at stop lights or anything. Uh, stuff like that. You know, I mean, you have, to, you have to get used to how it turns, especially if you're uh, coming from a motorcycle. But if you're coming uh, from a motorcycle and you get on one of these things, I mean, it only takes me about five minutes to get used to how it rides and stuff like that again um, my mom rides it so <laughs> if she can do it everyone can do it right um, but I mean they're, they're fun they're fun little things the only thing you have to uh, worry about if you've ever been on an ATV like if you've been on a four-wheeler and you turn really hard and you get that feeling of you're gonna get shot off the side because it has so much grip that's basically the feeling this gives you whenever you turn really hard or at a high speed. That's kind of the feeling it gives you, but only for like the first few times until you get used to it. Then after that, you're good. I've had a bunch of uh, people give me weird looks though because I've seen about five of my friends on this vlog and they're all used to me riding my bike. So they're probably like, what the heck's he riding now? <laughs> But, um, yeah, so, well, we're about back at my house now, so we're coming to the end of this vlog here. So if you guys have any other questions about this bike for me, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments or send me a message or something like that. Uh, if you guys want me to do more vlogs on this thing, um, then I have conditions. <laughs> First conditions is you do not complain about me not going on very fast roads because my mom, it's my mom's bike, it's not mine, so I'm not gonna just, you know, go out there and take it all willy-nilly and stuff. And the other condition is you guys have to give me topics to talk about while I'm on it. Uh, either relating to the bike or just random topics that I feel are good, but I'm not gonna go out and just ride around and just do this because it's not gonna be very fun for you guys that way, so. Back here at my house. And we'll stop right here. And kill switch. And off. And parking brake. And first gear. All right, now that thing ain't moving now. Okay, now. Push, turn this way. This comes up. So now what you have to do is you have to plug it into the battery meter thingamajig. Like this. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. That goes there. This goes here. Okay, that fell off. There we go. Is the voltmeter working? Yep. Okie doke. Well, there you go, guys. That was a vlog on the K&M Spider RS. And, uh, yeah, it has a 990 engine. So this thing will, 
this thing will give you some wheel spin, that's for sure. Do some epic burnouts. <laughs> yep, alrighty. We're done now. Say bye.